What's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, that guy, the Dragon Dude here. And I haven't done an intro like that in a little bit. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about mouse control and how do you start it? Like, how do you start building up mouse control? How do you get uh, better mouse control over time? And I just want to say, when it starts or when it comes to learning something, you have to start slow, right? And anything, you have to start slow. Uh, especially like if you're playing like music, right? If you're playing guitar, everybody knows you start out slow learning the chord patterns and then you're going to start strumming and, you know, just start from the very basic. So when it comes to aiming, what should we start on when it comes to mouse control? And everyone will tell you that a lower sensitivity is easier to control. So with that in mind, why don't we start out with a really low sensitivity? Now, my recommendation, and it's gonna be different for any person, I would say anywhere from like a 40 uh, centimeter 360 all the way up to a 70 centimeter 360. A lot of the times when you see people aim, like doing aim training or setting scores on aim trainers, they're playing on a super, super low, like 70 centimeter 360 or a 60 centimeter 360 when it comes to, uh, their aim training and setting scores, or I should actually say aim training, but like setting scores or in high scores in um, Kovacs or in um, oh, whatever the other one, Name Labs is. Um, so now that you have that out of the way, what do you do? How do you start practicing it? Well, in the link in the description below, I have a daily aim routine. Um, it's not mine, but it's from Aim Labs. There's a daily aiming and improvement method, and it's going through all of the, like Monday through uh, Sunday, I believe, Monday through Saturday, uh, one of those days, because uh, one of them is a rest day, but it gives you scenarios to do every single day, and it's anywhere from target switching all the way over to uh, tracking every aspect of aiming, you will have a scenario in there. And it's super easy to uh, set up. And all you gotta do is have Aim Labs download, which is free, by the way, downloaded, which is free, um, and on Steam. And then all you do is you go and you just click on the, uh, day that you're on with the top of the link in the description below obviously you click on the top link and then you just click on whatever day you're on and it'll bring up a handle and it'll ask you to open aim labs and it'll do that and you have a daily improvement method in order for you to get better at uh, mouse control now when it also comes to this i would say practice this every single day okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to play the game but when you play the game, I would suggest taking like a 15 minute break after uh, you uh, already uh, did your aim training, take like a 15 to 30 minute break, then come back to the game, let your, have, you gotta have time for your mind to get out of the mindset of aim training, and then just play uh, the game. Don't think about aiming, but play at a lower uh, sensitivity. So like right now, me, you're, you're looking, I'm playing at a 3.4 in game sensitivity with a uh, 800 DPI. So my cinema 360 is like around a 50, I wanna say, around 50, 52, somewhere around there. And it's really, really slow. But that's also the sensitivity I used to aim train at. And the whole point of this is to get used to the lower sensitivities, to get used to using your arm to aim. That's a key point, using your arm to aim and practicing with the bigger, uh, bigger range, ranges of motion that you have to do in order to play at this lower sensitivity. Um, you have to pretty much use your whole arm. Like you have to be able to use your arm and use your wrist for the micro read adjustments. And it's just going to teach you that control over time. It's going to feel really weird at first, but promise, I promise you, like it doesn't even look like I'm playing on that low of a sensitivity in the gameplay. Uh, that's just how, uh, <laughs> it looks like I'm playing on way higher of a sensitivity, but what is the reason for that? It's because, like I said, I'm used to using my arm. I'm a low sensitivity player by nature. Um, but when I want to, and if I've been playing the game a lot, I could raise my sensitivity, almost double it and still be fine. Um, but I haven't been playing that much. So 
there you go. I'm just playing on this lower sensitivity to be more consistent. But over time, you don't want to stick to this one sensitivity. Once you have gotten, you know, good scores on aim labs and you feel like you've hit a plateau in your aiming, uh, it's time to up the difficulty. It's time to raise your sensitivity and it's time to practice utilizing other muscle groups with a higher sensitivity. Now, my suggestion is to raise it by like 0.5. So if you're on like 3.4, like I am, I would raise it to 3.9. Play on that for a little bit and just gradually get used to that. And then I plateau and then I raise it a little bit more, right? Until I feel like I plateau where I raised it too much and I start seeing diminishing returns. So then I would lower it back down to where I was comfortable, you know, and just keep going vice versa back then or back vice versa. I, I don't even know, man. But I, anyway, I would keep uh, going right until, like I said, I would plateau and then I would lower my sensitivity a little bit more and then go back and actually, you know, just keep on that sensitivity until I would feel like, OK, maybe <laughs> this is like the sensitivity that I need to stick on. Um, so that was my recommendation when it comes to building up that mouse control. And this was nasty if I didn't have uh, that sniper right there. Um, just having the control like that, right? To have your uh, mouse do what you want it to do. But as always, guys, uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this video. Uh, Dragon's Dogma is coming out soon. Dragon's Dogma 2. And I'm super excited to play that more on a video about that in the future. Um, but as always, guys, remember to stay blessed, stay humble. And I'll catch you in another video. Peace.